Once upon a time, nestled beside a tranquil river, there thrived a charming and captivating village. In this idyllic village lived a young boy named Daniel, a compassionate and naive soul. He was the cherished only child of his parents, who filled his heart with dreams and aspirations. Daniel's determination knew no bounds. He was unwavering in his pursuit of these dreams, ready to confront any obstacles that dared to impede his path. However, in the midst of his aspirations, Daniel found himself surrounded by a multitude of toxic individuals. These were people who harbored jealousy and resentment in their hearts, vehemently opposed to Daniel's progress and achievements. These toxic influences, much to Daniel's dismay, came from his inner circle, friends, relatives, and even neighbors, who could not bear to see him rise. Their constant criticism, belittling remarks and discouragement, began to erode his confidence and motivation, sowing seeds of doubt about his own abilities. As the days passed, the relentless negativity from these individuals began to gnaw at Daniel's spirit. He realized he had to confront this toxicity head-on if he wanted to preserve his dreams and well-being. It was a difficult decision, but Daniel knew it was essential for his success. One day, Daniel made the courageous choice to confront the toxic people in his life. He spoke candidly about how their negativity and hurtful comments affected him, making it clear that he could no longer tolerate their behavior. Some of them were apologetic, showing remorse for their actions, while others remained entrenched in their toxic mindset. Cutting ties with these toxic influences was not an easy task for Daniel. It required immense strength and determination, but he understood that it was a necessary step toward achieving his goals. From that moment on, Daniel committed himself to surround himself with individuals who were supportive, positive, and capable of motivating and inspiring him throughout his journey. One day, while sitting beneath the sprawling shade of a giant oak tree near a picturesque pond in his village, Daniel was approached by a few of his former negative friends. These acquaintances had achieved considerable wealth in their lives and now sought to pry into Daniel's plans and accomplishments. Daniel, cautious and wary of their intentions, chose to remain silent about his future endeavors. He sensed that these friends were merely ill-wishers disguised as companions, and he refrained from divulging his dreams and aspirations to them. This encounter left Daniel feeling conflicted, his confidence in his dreams waning due to the ambiguity created by these former friends. Seeking clarity and guidance, Daniel decided to approach an old, wise Buddhist monk. This monk, whose reputation for wisdom and deep knowledge had spread far and wide, resided peacefully in a monastery nestled among the serene valleys. After an arduous journey, Daniel finally reached the monastery. The wise old monk was known for aiding those burdened by life's troubles, and Daniel bowed respectfully before him before recounting the trials he had faced with toxic people. He explained how their negativity and malicious actions had affected him, causing emotional turmoil. The monk listened intently, wearing a gentle smile as he absorbed Daniel's story. After hearing Daniel's tale, the monk began to impart invaluable wisdom on how to handle toxic people and maintain inner peace. Daniel, the monk began, when people criticize, belittle, or disrespect you, it often stems from their own insecurities and jealousy. It's a sign that you're ahead of them in the journey of life. Instead of being discouraged, take it as a compliment that you are making progress. The monk continued, to deal with toxic people, you must not give them your undivided attention. Focus solely on your goals and what's essential to you. When you are engrossed in your work and priorities, you won't have time for their drama and negativity. Toxic people thrive on your reactions, so deny them that satisfaction. As Daniel absorbed these words, the monk continued, The second way to handle toxic people is not to respond to them. Your silence is your most potent response. Toxic individuals feed on your emotional reactions, and by not responding, you deny them the power to hurt you. Strengthen yourself inside and out, and toxic people will find it challenging to affect you. The monk went on, surround yourself with positive and supportive individuals who uplift your spirits. Remember, you don't have to make room for people who cause you pain or suffering. Keep your distance from those who disregard your feelings and disrespect you. Having received these profound lessons, Daniel thanked the monk for his guidance and spiritual support. With a newfound sense of purpose and determination, Daniel departed from the monastery, carrying the monk's wisdom with him. From that day forward, whenever Daniel encountered negative or toxic people in his village or elsewhere, he adhered to the monk's teachings. 
he neither responded to their toxicity nor allowed their words to affect him. By taking control of his relationships and surrounding himself with positivity, Daniel gradually overcame the obstacles in his path. As time passed, Daniel realized his dreams and aspirations, achieving success that once seemed unattainable. He had learned the art of managing toxic people and preserving his own well-being. In the end, the story of Daniel serves as a reminder that we have the power to choose our influences and the people with whom we surround ourselves. By focusing on our goals, maintaining our inner strength, and cultivating a supportive environment, we can rise above toxicity and achieve our dreams, no matter how challenging the journey may be.